Welcome inside the service arena, Red Deer, Alberta. It is one that's been circled on the calendar for a bit. The Airdrie Thunder and the Red Deer Vipers. These two North Division rivals going at it. Cole Sears, a 937 save percentage, 1-0 on the season. Identical record, 1-0 on the season. Ryan Simpson, a little bit better save percentage, though. He's got a 947, and we are just about ready for Vipers Thunder. What better way to get going on a Friday night? Prime time, crack a cold one. We are underway. Braden Dunn up to Jordan McConnell, and McConnell comes in offensively for the Thunder. McConnell to Wenzel. Shot stopped by Sears, and he will hold on to that. Cole Sears played well in the victory last time out for against the Rocky Rams. Red Deer's next action. They will be right back here at home. Service Arena hosting the Three Hills Thrashers as Logan Linnell will start right up. Linnell, star shooting from the high slot. A good uh, chance there, but it goes wide. Here comes Jordan McConnell. McConnell played there well by Angle Twit, but now to the far side, they score. Clay Murray, his third of the year. It's one nothing, Airdrie. is Clay Murray on the far side just got a puck on a tee from Jordan McConnell those two never played together uh, in the Real Heritage Junior Hockey League and I gotta tell you I'm just glad I didn't have to see that because I <laughs> called a lot of games against those guys and both of those guys uh, were awfully good Murray McConnell Dubois that's the scoring line here to open the scoring early at the service arena here in Red Deer and now here comes Dunn over the line he is offside certainly not what you want to do against these teams that are so high powered offensively you surrender number one the first one number two an early one the Vipers have done both uh, Red Deer historically has never been quite as, as offensively minded and offensively up-tempo is the Thunder, but they have beaten them in playoff series, and they've done so uh, by being uh, good with the body, good defensively. We'll see what happens for the rest of this one. They're now to the far side. One-timer. That shot got blocked, and now a penalty coming. I think it goes against Airdrie. Jordan McConnell does go off. It's tripping. So the captain uh, takes a penalty after setting up the go-ahead goal. Uh, we'll see what happens here on this Viper power play. We're starting to get going as uh, it is Yates, Hoppus, and Johnston out there on this second power play unit. Yates back to Kingwell. Kingwell, Hoppus got a shot, but it was blocked, and Cooper Page sends this one down the ice. Kale LaPointe, don't freak out yet. Uh, pulled some strings, got you on the number one PP unit. You're just not quite out there yet, so settle down. Here's Hoppus, a shot. Great save by Ryan Simpson out at the top of his crease challenging and making the save one 28 to go here on the power play 715 1715 i should say to go in the period still hoppus johnston and yates out there on the man advantage this puck gets flung down the ice by airdrie red deer looking for the equalizer on this power play here is kalinowski to Johnston, Johnston to the far side, Yates. Yates bounces this one off the wall to Hoppus. Hoppus attacks, Hoppus leaves there, Johnston. Johnston shot it wide. Ben Ord off the glass down the ice. And the Red Deer Vipers down to 45 seconds of power play time. Here's Spencer Yates over to the near side. Brett Hoppus, he comes in right out front. Check, Le Johnston, great chance, great save by Ryan Simpson and he will hold on to that. 31 seconds of power play. Time remaining for the Vipers. Difference, Linnell and Wilson out there on the number one unit. Back end, angle twit, and kill a point. And it won't matter as Red Deer's taking a penalty off the draw. Here's Ty Petrie. Petrie, he takes to the net. Couldn't get a shot away. Giroux tied up on the far side. Touched up by the Vipers. And 11 seconds of four on four and then a buck 49. Power play time for Airdrie. Logan Linnell chops uh, Kirkland Spencer there. And as you can see there, maybe at the bottom of your screen, that's 
Odie, the Vipers mascot, named for late uh, late Scott Odegaard, father of one-time Viper assistant coach, father of Viper assistant coach, poor Odegaard. So salute you, big old. We miss you, brother. I'll be sure to have a couple of cold ones at the lake for you this summer. Draw outside the Viper lie. It's won by the Vipers, but take it away here. Zach Giroux right in offensively. But a good job to be knocked off the puck and set down the ice by Red Deer. Buck 27 to go on the Thunder power play. Airdrie got the offensive machine working last time out. Scored six goals on the road against the Statler Lightning. Over the line with it now. Wenzel right in front to Zach Giroux. Couldn't get a shot away. Here is now Brett Marsolier spinning and firing this one the length. Down to 50 seconds of power play time. And now Lane Sim hard in on the forecheck. Not sure how, what happened there. What kind of miscommunication happened for the Thunder? And Sim, he's got it. He uh, and Goodall combined for a shorthanded goal against these Thunder in an exhibition game earlier. Knocked off the puck there, Angle Twin. Now to Goodall. Goodall to Lane Sim. As the Vipers have taken a good chunk of time off this Thunder power play. Down to 10 seconds now. Far side, LaGrandier. LaGrandier now got it to Ty Petrie. Petrie over the line. Vipers back to even strike, but here comes LaGrandier. A shot blocked. And now Mac Difference starts out for the Vipers. Difference, 13 and a half to go here in the period. Difference carries out for a chill pack shot at high and wide. Chopek, he's not really thought of the trigger man there, but he almost tied the game. Now Jordan McConnell. McConnell shot it. Great shot by Sears. And he's going to hold on to that. McConnell got an assist on the go-ahead goal by Clay Murray. It's still one nothing Airdrie. With 12.52 to go in the first period. Draw one here by the Vipers and Damian Chopek. We'll start out with it. Joe Peck got it to Declan Johnston. Johnston trying to start through, uh, break, split the D himself. Couldn't do so. And here come the Airdrie Thunder. Now it's Mac Difference. Drop back off for Damian Joe Peck. Joe Peck comes in. Knocked off the puck though. And here's Jordan McConnell. McConnell pestered by Kingwell. Kingwell, good job to, uh, to keep him off the puck. And now Kale LaPointe. LaPointe, what a move, LaPointe to Hoppus, Hoppus wound and couldn't get a shot away, and now here comes Braden Dunn, Dunn to McConnell to the backhand, he couldn't get it on goal, great opportunity there for Airdrie, but uh, McConnell pestered, couldn't get a shot away, Jordan McConnell at the line, knocked off the puck, is now he's tied up at the blue line, Spencer holds it in, Paquette backhander stopped easily there, in tight by Cole Sears, and he will freeze that. Hold on, 10-20 to go in the first period. 1-0, the Thunder lead the Red Deer Vipers. Wilson, Linnell, and LaPointe, top line out there for the Red Deer Vipers. They got the fourth line out for Airdrie. Let's see if they can make some hay here, because Logan Linnell comes through center. Linnell spins away from his man. Linnell over to the far side, taken away by Tristan Paquette. Paquette right in, shot it just wide. Aiden Wilson, Brett Campbell, they are taking off the puck, and now here comes Logan Linnell. Linnell, he will put this one in deep. Luke Jensen's got it for the Thunder. Comes out the near side to Jacob McDonald. Jordan McDonald, excuse me. Now here's Brett Campbell, knocked off the puck neatly by Sullivan. Sims got it, got it to Yates. Yates on the far side. Yates knocked off the puck, right in front to Rubiak. Save, rebound, Sims got control. Sim tied up down low, trying to dig this loose. McDonald will, is now back the other way, come to Thunder. And this is Matt Thompson. Thompson trying to take it wide on Sullivan. Sullivan, great job to take that away from him. Connor Sullivan. Starts out through center. Sullivan knocked off the puck. Sullivan cuts to the middle. Sullivan shoots it. Great save by Simpson. Now another penalty coming to the Airdrie Thunder. Yates, Sullivan, back to the point. It's Kalinowski the difference. Red Deer's got an offensive attack set up here with the extra attacker out there. Sullivan shoots it at the post. Touched up. And Red Deer to another power play. This is going to be Jordan... Uh, Excuse me, Jason Wenzel for interference. That one's a bit soft. <laughs> that one is a bit soft. But nonetheless, the Vipers are going to have an opportunity to tie the hockey game. 
They're 0 for 1 on the power play. It was cut short by a Viper penalty. But Red Deer will get this first unit out there to start right away. Down the ice, Kale LaPointe's going to chase. Left there for LaPointe by Cole Sears. LaPointe got it up to Logan Linnell. And Linnell over to the near side for Mac Difference. Difference, oh, he's tripped up. And this is going to be a five on three. Linnell, Difference, far side one timer. Great save by Simpson. Difference taken away from him and touched up a lengthy two man advantage for the Red Deer Vipers. I tell you what, I remember with these this 2018 championship team, five on threes were just about automatic for the Vipes. But we'll see if it is here. LaPointe out there with Angle to its second forward unit, Hoppus Johnson and Yates. Five on three for a buck 26. Airdrie won the draw, flung it down the ice, knocked down neatly by LaPointe in the neutral zone. Now here is Declan Johnston. Johnston right over the line, knocked off the puck. It'll come back to Kayla Point in the neutral zone. All over to Declan Johnston again. Johnston into the middle, Yates. Yates to Hoppus, shot it just wide. Yates right up front, looking for Hoppus. Couldn't get it there. Brett Hoppus, Yates trying to get that one in front of the net. Couldn't take it away by Ben Ord, who's knocked off the puck. Still 38 seconds, a five on three. Now maybe a two on one. Great chance here for Red Deer. Declan Johnston knocked off the puck by Tyler McCary. Down the ice, 20 seconds, a five on three remain for the Red Deer Vipers. Now over to the far side, Zach Giroux got it to McCary. Is five on three gonna come to an end and not a lot of time left in the power play outright, just 34 seconds. As now it's LaPointe loose in front for Ben Ord, unable to get that one away. And now here comes Logan Liddell barreling in uh, across the line. Now Wilson, out front, difference, oh, what a move, but he put it wide, right out front. Back to the line, Kingwell, Linnell off the boards, Linnell a backhander, great save made by Ryan Simpson. Tied up in the corner, Giroux takes away for Airdrie. Airdrie now comes out, Ty Petrie here. Petrie trying to step around, Brody Kalinowski can't. Keegan Kingwell over there to help out. Here is McCary. McCary knocked off the puck, and now Mac Difference back the other way. Difference gave up to Jackson Goodall. Goodall to Kalinowski. Kalinowski taken off him by Jordan McConnell. And now here comes Luke Jensen. Jensen knocked off the puck. Ty Petrie at center. Petrie got it to Jordan McConnell. McConnell comes over the line in the middle. Lost control of it. Neatly taken away there by Keegan Kingwell. Right up to Nick Scott. Scott over the line offensively for the Thunder. Knocked off though by Wenzel. Now done. Done to Murray. Murray, he got crushed on the near side. And now here come the Vipers. That was Kingwell. Kingwell threw a couple of those in his career. Not the biggest guy, but holy, did he pack a punch. Packed a wall up with those hits. And he caught Clay Murray there. Murray, he is going to put that one in deep around Kingwell. Kalinowski got it to Kingwell. Kingwell now over to the far side. That is for Spencer Yates. Final seconds about to come off the clock, but Yates has time. Yates to Goodall in the slot. Goodall couldn't get it away. Jackson Goodall, Spencer Yates. Now Joslin Kalinowski through traffic. Blocked in the Thunder. Will get this thing out. And it's a one nothing Airdrie lead after 20 miles here. at the service arena is the Jordan this is the only goal Jordan McConnell to Clay Murray and if they played together I get a feeling that that scoring line uh, would happen a little bit too often for my liking but nonetheless Vipers out shoot Airdrie 7-4 in that period 7-4 are the shots on goal in favor of Red Deer Jordan McConnell out there, Clay Murray and Braden Dunn. It's Aiden Wilson, Logan Linnell, and Kale LaPointe. Vipers put this one in deep. It's icing on Red Deer early in the second, just 10 seconds gone. That was Dalton Angletwick sending it the length of the ice. That doesn't look like J.D. Morocco, but we'll say it is. Face off, won by the Thunder. One time drive, great save by... Cole Sears on Braden Dunn. Braden Dunn is not a guy that uh, you want to take lightly ever. Is, uh, he's an awfully good scorer himself. 
draw is going to be won by the Thunder here, offensive zone. Good play by Logan Linnell. Taking that away defensively for the Vipers. Aiden Wilson knocked off the puck. He's uh, tied up in deep by Clay Murray. And now this puck will get to Jason Wenzel. Wenzel to McConnell. McConnell, a shot got blocked. And now an Airdrie penalty. A power play, excuse me. Is Kale LaPointe is going to go for tripping here. <laughs> well, there's a soft one on Red D on Airdrie, I guess, to in the first. So that's in maybe an even up call, but that is awfully weak. Tripping on LaPointe, Red Deer to the PK, and Lane Sim got the pass from Kalinowski, and he will send that the length of the ice. It's one of the this powdly kill unit pounds pucks pretty hard, Sim and uh, good off. Now here's Giroux. Giroux right in front. Legrandier put it high and wide. Ryland Plod Crow on the far side. Pestered by his now teammate with the Red Deer Rustlers. Lane Sim, but Legrandier's got it. Legrandier's shot blocked. Good all down the ice. Red Deer's taking the first minute or so off of this Thunderman advantage. As here comes Ryland Plod Crow. Knocked off the puck. Kalinowski to Sim. And Sim got it to Declan Johnston. Johnston will carry in offensively shorthanded for the Vipers, but he turned it over to Brett Legrandier. Legrandier back the other way for Airdrie. Legrandier pestered there by Angletwit. Right out front to Michael Dubois. And a good stop by Cole Sears. 22 seconds of power play. Time remaining for the Thunder. In there to help out Linnell. And now Angletwit to Declan Johnston. Johnston off the glass. Down the ice. And that should do it. And Red Deer will get back to even strength here. But a stretch pass finds Zach Giroux. Giroux taken off the puck there neatly by Brett Marsolier. Now here's Declan Johnston to Brett Hoppus. Hoppus got it over to the near side. Brett Marsolier on the attack near side. Marsolier takes, shoots, save, rebound, scores! Declan Johnston! Second of the year, and Red Deer's tied the game at one. Marsolier, low shot, far pad. Ryan Simpson kicks it right to Declan Johnston. And Declan Johnston makes no mistake from there. And the Red Deer Vipers in the second period have evened the score with the Airdrie Thunder. Both these clubs come in one and one. And both these clubs certainly would be disappointed with that record two days into the season, uh, two games into the season, I should say. Especially Airdrie, who had uh, three hills on the schedule to open up the season. Have They did, however, make a little bit of amends, scored six goals on the Statler Lightning. Red Deer uh, got the win over the Rocky Rams on Monday. So here we are on Friday with Damian Chopak putting that one up to Spencer Yates. Yates knocked out the puck cleanly by McConnell. Now to Dunn. Dunn shot blocked. Rebound! Put high over the net by Braden Dunn. There is Kingwell. Got it up to Damian Chopak. Chopak knocked out the puck. And now here comes McConnell to Dunn. Great defensive play made by Spencer Yates. Racing back and took that back away. Is, here is Tristan Zerubiak to Keegan Kingwell. Now to Lane Sim. Sim will put this deep for the Red Deer Vipers. Gathered by Kirkland Spencer from behind his own goal by Airdrie. There's Spencer Yates. He holds his man up along the far side. Yates has got it. Yates is the man of the net. Yates couldn't get it there. Tristan Zerubiak. Good play to keep this one alive in the offensive zone for Red Deer. This puck held in by the Red Deer Vipers too in the meantime as here come the Airdrie Thunder Red Deer setting up a little bit of a 1-3-1 uh, the Airdrie Thunder here's Brett Marsolier not allowing the Thunder and that might be the play especially with these depth guys to not let the Thunder generate that speed Sullivan on the far side got a pass and good block though by Luke Jensen as you can see Red Deer follow, falling into that uh, one three one. Sometimes it looks more like a two three. They just stand it up the thunder at the blue line. But now here's a chance to Rubiak near side. Wilson scores. And Wilson's got his second. And the Red Deer Vipers have a two to one lead. 
A turnover in the neutral zone right around the blue line, and you know how coaches hate those. Turnovers at the blue line, absolute killers. Great feed from Tristan Zerubiak. He makes no mistake, puts it right there on a platter for Declan Johnston. Declan Johnston, excuse me, Aiden Wilson. It'll go Wilson, Linnell, Zerubiak. Or Wilson, Zerubiak, Linnell, excuse me. And the Red Deer Vipers have a 2-1 lead halfway through regulation. As uh, we'll see if Red Deer continues to try to just take that neutral zone speed game away from the Thunder. And again in that 1-3-1, but Giroux got loose and a great save by Sears. And Red Deer nearly got burnt as Giroux got loose. But Cole Sears makes the save. And now back comes Petrie. Two on one for Airdrie. Petrie to the near side. Great save on Blood Crow by Sears. LaGrandier. Blood Crow right up front. Oh, what a stop by Sears. Cole Sears came across with the glove hand and flashes the leather. Keeps the Red Deer Vipers on top by a 2 1 count. Ryland Plot Crow on the draw to the right side of Cole Sears. Faceoffs 11 8 in favor of Red Deer, but Airdrie won that one. A one timer from Ty Petrie, but Sears over there in plenty of time and made that one look easy. Cole Sears, uh, who out of camp apparently on day one did not get the starters net, not get the starting job. Billado started against the uh, Sylvan Lake Wranglers got yanked in that game. Sears played the rest of it. Sears then played against Rocky. Played well enough to get this game against Airdrie, and he's been lights out in the Red Deer crease thus far. And now here's Scott. Scott to Joslin. Joslin back to Scott. He scores. Nick Scott. The Red Deer Vipers have a 3 1 lead. Surrendered the opening goal early, but three unanswered for Red Deer. And a couple of two-on-one sloppy defensively for Airdrie. And this is exactly how the Vipers beat those great Thunder teams, especially in 2017, 2018. Airdrie was pretty good as well. Solid defensive play and make hay when they give you opportunities. And yeah, that's certainly what they've done here. Airdrie down a couple. Here's Michael Dubois. Dubois on the near side, dug out by Jackson Goodall. Goodall comes in, now here's Joslin. Joslin shoots, saved by Simpson. Simpson had to make that one, didn't he? Give up that one, it's 4-1, and uh, certainly wouldn't say it's over, but the Red Deer Vipers in this second period have really put the governor on these Airdrie Thunder. Draw to the right side of Simpson. Back to the line is here's Hoppus. Hoppus to Declan Johnston. Johnston different shot saved by Simpson and he will hold on to that. These two teams won't meet again until close till the end of the season. And of course that one will be at the Ron Abison and Airdrie. Draw to the right side of Simpson, won cleanly by his Airdrie Thunder. And now Ryan Murray, Clay Murray, now to Dunn, Dunn's got McConnell, Dunn couldn't get it back to him. What a chance there for Airdrie, but uh, Dunn just couldn't get it back to Jordan McConnell. Clay Murray, a great heads up feed uh, to create that two on one. And look at Red Deer falling back into this trap game of sorts and a great defensive play. And Connor Sullivan's got that one to Declan Johnston. Johnston now to Mac Difference. Difference sends that one cross ice. Connor Sullivan. Sullivan to Marsolier. Marsolier puts that one right through the middle. Intercepted. Now here's Zach Giroux. Giroux knocked off the puck, but he's got it back. Back to the line. McCary. McCary shot. Good blocked. And now here comes Aiden Wilson. One on one. Wilson. But a good defensive play turned in by the Thunder, and now here's a chance, Cooper Page to the Nets, and he couldn't get the rebound. His Sears kicked that one to an opportune spot. Vipers take it away. Page drops this off Wenzel, and now out the zone comes Logan Linnell for Red Deer. Linnell over the line. Linnell, he's gonna take this one back to the point, Marsolier. There's Wilson to Logan Linnell. 
Linnell over to Wilson. Wilson to Connor Sullivan. Sullivan spins away, comes to Linnell. Linnell to Aiden Wilson, shoots, save, rebound. And Wilson couldn't put it home. Wilson behind the net, right out front, great save by Simpson. Ryan Simpson making the saves he's got and to make sure this doesn't become a three goal game. Kalinowski hard hit on the far side. Now here's Mac Difference. Difference taken away. Now Zach Giroux. Giroux in offensively for the Airdrie Thunder. Going to go down low. Campbell. Tristan Paquette. Paquette up top. Taken away here by Dalton Angletwit. Angletwit to Mac Difference. Difference in over the line near side. Difference now in the corner, tied up by Giroux in there as well, Ben Ord. But Difference comes out with it. Difference right in front. Joslin couldn't get the shot away. Here come the Thunder. This is Kirkland Spencer. Taken away there is Brody Kalinowski in there to help out. Good all. Now to Joslin. Joslin lost control there. It's going to be Ben Ord. Ord right to Brett Campbell. Campbell over the line. Tries to get it into the middle. Couldn't get there. Goodall got it. Goodall got it to Scott. And that will do it. Second period has come to an end. Red Deer has a 3-1 lead going to the third. And uh, that's right where the Vipers want these guys. As Red Deer and Airdrie playing another great game. Airdrie scores early, but three unanswered from the Red Deer Vipers in the second period. The first of which right there, Declan Johnston. As this is the second one. Nick Scott to Drew Joslin. Back to Nick Scott, all set up by a headman pass from Jackson Goodall. It's 3-1 Red Deer. Red Deer does get narrowly outshot 9-8 in that period. But they do score three goals of their own. It's 3-1. Airdrie needs a big frame on the road here, but they did get a big period on the road in Skettler, powering them to a 6-1 victory. A similar outburst likely gets them tied or maybe even ahead against these Vipers, but the Vipers have control in their own zone. The Dalton Angle to it will come out. Is Kale LaPointe with it here? Sends this over to the near side. Logan Linnell. Linnell got crunched off the puck as this comes in to the Red Deer zone. Now tied up Angle Twit on the near side. Angle Twit is hooked up in an early third period penalty coming against the Airdrie Thunder. Touched up. Thunder bench is upset. They are not happy at all. Is this one will go against Jordan McConnell and that, uh, that's probably a little soft too. McConnell off for hooking. But the Red Deer Vipers, an opportunity here to really put some distance between themselves and their rivals. And here's Hoppus, great chance in tight, but a better save by Ryan Simpson to not allow that. Buck 40 to go here in the Red Deer power play. Off the wall it will come to Yates. Left it for Hoppus, but Hoppus comes in offside. Two minutes, seven seconds gone here in the third period. Red Deer has a 3-1 lead on home ice and they are on the power play early here in the third period. Buck 34 remaining on that power play. 22 to 18, Airdrie though has out hit the Red Deer Vipers. And here's Ty Petrie. Petrie over the line, stops in the corner. Petrie, Kirkland Spencer, backhander, Sears the same, no rebound. It's the more important part of that sequence. No rebound, Sears holds on. Face off deep in Red Deer territory with a buck 17 to go on the Red Deer advantage. There's, there's Petrie back to the line. Spencer, Dubois, Giroux. Spencer now Dubois. Now here's Giroux over to the far side. Great look there. That was Ty Petrie. And I think Cole Sears actually got across and made the save. And now here's Yates. Yates couldn't uh, keep control of it. There's Zach Giroux. Giroux on the far side. Tied it up. Yates has got it. Yates right in front. The hop is gone. Saved by Simpson. Holds on. 28 seconds to go. And yeah, I think Sears does make that save. You'll see it right here. Oh, and Ty Petrie. Petrie, I think, just settled that down, dusted it off a little too long. That allowed Sears to get across. 
Difference Wilson and Linnell out there on the power play here. And the draw won by the Red Deer Vipers. Different shot, blocker save, point blank range. And if Airdrie finds a way to come back in this one and an offensive juggernaut like that, uh, not too crazy seeing them score two goals in a short period of time. Mark that save. And here's Wilson. And difference again. Another save by Simpson. A one-timer through traffic. Stopped by Simpson once more. Kill a point to Mac Difference. Down low, Logan Linnell. Linnell backhander. Stopped by Simpson again. Ryan Simpson doing all he can to keep his team in this hockey game. Couple of big saves on that power play. Sim Yates and Zerubiak out there now. Airdrie will load up, go to their top line, McConnell, Murray, and Dunn. But Yates won the draw. Kalinowski now to lane Sim high slot. Back to Brody Kalinowski. Kalinowski to Spencer Yates. Yates, a shot got blocked. Sim's now got it. Sim, he shoots and he hit the post. Think Sim was shooting that for the rebound, and now a penalty up coming up to Red Deer. So a great opportunity for the Thunder as they come in offensively, led by McConnell. Shot blocked and comes harmlessly to Cole Sears. This will be touched up. Red Deer will go to the penalty kill. It's Dalton Angle Twit. Who will go for tripping here? Doesn't love that. So Red Deer Vipers. One and one, Airdrie Thunder also one and one. And the Vipers will win the draw, and Brett Marsolier off the glass down the ice. I didn't see how close that got to getting out, but it looked like it might have been pretty close. But nonetheless, it didn't, and we stay uh, five on four. Sims got it for Red Deer. Sim gains the line and gains the blue and then puts this one in deep. Good job by Lane. Sim Red Deer eating some time off this penalty kill. But now here comes Brett Legrandier. Legrandier's got a man in the net. Legrandier centered pass for Zach Giroux. Great defensive play by Sullivan. Now right in front, Ryland Blunt Crow. Stopped by Sears. Ryland Blunt Crow, high slot. Picked his spot, but Sears makes the save right here. I think Quad Crow actually might have just been trying to get that to the net, maybe for a rebound. Never got one. Draw one by the Vipers and put down the ice by Brody Kalinowski again. Down to 48 seconds of power play time for the Airdrie Thunder. Now over to the far side, here's Declan Johnston. Johnston, a shorthanded opportunity, stopped by Simpson on a Declan Johnston snapper from the far circle. Face off, left side of Ryan Simpson. Draw one cleanly by the Thunder. 30 seconds of power play time remains. Braden Dunn over the line offensively. Up top McConnell, McConnell left for Thompson. Matt Thompson shot it wide. Connor Sullivan plinks that one off the glass and down the ice as Red Deer is back to even strength. Jordan McConnell over the line, far over to the far side, it's Braden Dunn. 12 minutes to go, right out front, trying to get it to Murray. Dunn again, Dunn shot at sharp angle, he missed it wide. Murray tied up in the near side corner. Good job by Connor Sullivan to dig that one loose. It'll come to Kale LaPointe. LaPointe now right up to Logan Linnell. Linnell in the corner. Trying to get this one back to LaPointe and does. Damian Chopek shot it. That got blocked and came to Dunn. Dunn now got this one to Clay Murray. Murray tied up now. Now here's Braden Dunn. Dunn over the line offensively. Dunn tries to take to the net, but he can't get it there. And Sears will hold on to that. Can't take it out front, I should say. Comes right to Sears. He holds on. 10.32 to go in the third period. Still Red Deer 3, Airdrie 1. 19-14, the face-offs favor the Red Deer Vipers. Skirkland Spencer from the line. Good stick save, steered aside by Cole Sears. Here come the Red Deer Vipers back the other way. Is it's going to be Brett Hoppus. 
put in deep. Ben Ward. Ward got it to Kirkland Spencer. Spencer now to Jake McDonald. McDonald over the line. McDonald far side. Campbell, what a stop by Sears. Campbell back to the line. Spencer. Now Tristan Paquette. Ord. Spencer. Ord trying to get it down low, but it's knocked down by Declan Johnston. He goes in behind his own goal. Comes out the near side. Johnston to Damian Chopek. Chopek now to Mac Difference. And Difference will try to play this one in deep. Difference has it again. Difference. Far side. Declan Johnston. Oh, he just missed. Johnston nearly plants the dagger through the heart of the Thunder, but they'll come right back the other way. Brett Legrandier knocked off the puck neatly by Kingwell, and Kingwell gave it to Spencer Yates. Yates to Kingwell. Kingwell now. Kingwell to Brody Kalinowski. Kalinowski got it to Lane Sim. Lane Sim to Tristan Zerubiak. Tomorrow will be the South Division once more as uh, we get going on a Saturday with three games. North Division back in action on Sunday afternoon. We'll get you a schedule at the uh, next available opportunity. Tristan Zerubiak in the next in the corner in the near side is it's, uh, to the line, and we will get a penalty, and it actually will go against Red Deer here. It's a hook against Tristan Zerubiak. So on Sunday, uh, as we mentioned, Red Deer hosts Three Hills. Airdrie is in Rocky. And uh, we'll get you the schedule for tomorrow. A shot got blocked uh, through traffic down the ice by the Red Deer Vipers. One o'clock, Coldale in Medicine Hat. 2.30, two Okotoks in Lomond. Cochran in Strathmore at 4 p.m. and that is your schedule for your Saturday afternoon. Whistle goes here and we will get a face off. Shot through traffic got blocked by Declan Johnston as you can see. It is time now becoming of the essence. Just 5.45 to go. Buck 34 remaining on the Thunder power play. This is a real big juncture in this hockey game. Brett Lagrandier right down the pipe. Lagrandier to Wenzel. Loose puck to Plot Crow, he had a great chance. What a stop by Sears. This third period, Thunder have gotten right, gotten their offensive machine rolling a little bit. Some good chances, but Cole Sears has stood, denied him at every opportunity. Airdrie been on the road every game since their first one against Three Hills. And as mentioned, they're on the road again Sunday, all the way up in Rocky Mountain House. Taking on the Rams. Draw one by the Thunder. And there's Clay Murray tied up by Brett Marsolier. Murray tries to put that one in deep. He's kicking by Angle. Took down the ice. 50 seconds to go on the Thunder man advantage. Tied up now in deep. Logan Linnell kicks that loose over to Clay Murray. Murray will start out for the Airdrie Thunder. One last power play rush maybe here for Airdrie. Poked away at the line. And the Thunder are offside. Red Deer has just done enough here to be disruptive of this Airdrie Thunder team. They love to attack with speed. They love to attack off the rush. But Red Deer's clogged up the middle. A great coaching game plan, evidently, by J.D. Morical and company. Not to allow this Thunder uh, offense to get really off the ground other than that first strike early in the first period. But now, as I say that, here comes Dunn. Dunn's got men. Dunn to McConnell. Shoots and scores! Way late into the zone was Jordan McConnell. He's got his third of the year. Braden Dunn and Clay Murray on the assist. And that is a power play goal for Jordan McConnell. And it's 3-2 with plenty of time. So just as I say that, the Airdrie Thunder strike on the man advantage. Jordan McConnell, beauty Selly kiss and point to the sky love that actually I don't I don't know why I said that I hate it but that's okay four and a quarter to go Red Deer still with a 3-2 lead McConnell from Dunn and Murray on the man advantage as Jane Wilson he's got an opportunity to give the lead right back to Red Deer by two goals but he is knocked off the puck and here comes Cooper Page Airdrie tied it up late in the exhibition game can they do so here Matt Thompson in deep Thompson up top to the line. Here's Matt, du Michael Dubois. 
Dubois knocked off the puck. This is Zach Giroux. Far side, Giroux back to the line. Wenzel, drive through traffic, blocked. Aiden Wilson's got control here. 2.45 to go here in this third period. Dalton angle to it. Got it to Kayla Point. Logan Linnell trying to streak right down the middle. Could not do so. Matt Thompson has control for the Thunder. Thompson over to the far side page. Now here's Wenzel. Wenzel knocked off the puck. Brody Kalinowski in control for Red Deer in the neutral zone. Kalinowski over the line. Let one go. Good stop by Simpson. And uh, Jackson Goodall is just going to go park himself right in front for Simpson to make the, uh, make the cover and hold on. We'll get a draw deep in Thunder territory with a buck 36 remaining in the third period. Red Deer 3, Airdrie 2. Down the stretch we come. Ken Airdrie find a late equalizer like they did in Airdrie in the exhibition game. Here's Declan Johnson off a big hit by Hoppus, and Johnston shot it at a good glove save by Ryan Simpson. Here comes Petrie. We're in the final minute. We'll keep an eye on Simpson, but Petrie scores! Simpson didn't even need to leave the goal. Ty Petrie has tied the game for the Thunder. 1907 is the time of the goal. Cole Sears Made a beautiful job to get across and got a piece. But just not enough as that puck leaks in behind Sears. The Thunder have tied the game. In the last couple of minutes, Red Deer surrenders two and the Airdrie Thunder are back even. And now, don't look now, but here's Jordan McConnell. McConnell knocked off the puck. Is this will come to Tristan Zerubiak? I didn't even know where the puck was for a second there. Zerubiak tied up by uh, tied up McCary down low. Zerubiak out front. Marsolier couldn't get a shot away. Final half minute here. Red Deer in control offensive zone. Yates, Sim, Sim to Sullivan. Sullivan to Yates. Yates back to Marsolier. Now Sim in front. Yates has got it. Yates can't get a shot. There's Zerubiak to Sim. Shot blocked by McConnell. Here's a 15, second, 15 seconds left rush coming for Airdrie. But uh, taken away by Marsolier. Here's Lane Sim. And maybe one final rush for Red Deer before overtime. No, couldn't get it. Maybe one final rush before Airdrie. No, they won't have time. We go to overtime. These two teams did exactly that. In exhibition, Red Deer won that one. Aiden Wilson was the hero. Who will be the hero here? So none of these teams get the regulation win and the three points. They'll both put a point in the standings, however, they will play for the second. Three uh, three overtime from the service arena here in Red Deer. Airdrie ties the game late, just like they did in the exhibition game. They're gonna try to flip the script though and win this one in overtime. They lost last time out. Wilson out there with angle twit and difference. It is Jordan McConnell, Clay Murray, and Jason Wenzel for the Thunder. Excuse me, not difference. It's Linnell. Linnell, the angle twit shot and a great save by Simpson. Dylan wins. Jason Wenzel knocks his man off the puck as it's put back in deep. Murray kicks it down there for Wenzel. Wenzel will start it. Let's try to get it out. Great job by Linnell to take that away. Now Murray. Murray knocked off the puck, but he stays right with it. Murray to McConnell, he scores! Jordan McConnell walks it off for the Airdrie Thunder in overtime. And the Red Deer Vipers with a two goal lead late in the third period, surrender two. And the Airdrie Thunder get a measure of revenge and it's a little sweeter because this is a regular season. As Jordan McConnell puts one through the five hole on Sears. And the Airdrie Thunder will go to 1-1, one, 1-0. One, one oh. Nick Scott, your third star, by the way. This was his goal. Pretty nice. And the Red Deer Vipers will fall to 1-1-0-1. One, one, oh, one. So Red Deer now four points. Airdrie will have uh, five. So here is the overtime winner by Jordan McConnell. Your first star is Jordan McConnell. Two goals and an assist for him. 
That guy was a pretty good player. Uh, we'll show the overtime winner again. Why not? Tough Friday for old Sim Daddy. That's okay. Just a video game, right? I will still won't sleep tonight. As now we're just into general highlights here. As a one-time goal, the early one from Clay Murray. Red Deer got back uh, with, two, with three unanswered. But uh, late in the third... Uh, we'll actually just show you that. Late in the third, the Red Deer Vipers surrender two inside the final uh, couple of minutes, inside the final four minutes, in fact. 15-44, Jordan McConnell from Braden Dunn and Clay Murray on the power play. Ty Petrie with 53 seconds to go from Ryland Plant crow and Brett Legrandier get the game even. And then it is Jordan McConnell and the overtime winner from Clay Murray. So that'll do it. Uh, as we said, the schedule for tomorrow is up on Twitter, and I will read it to you one last time because we got you here. Why wouldn't I? Tomorrow, my friends. Coldale in Medicine Hat. That is at 1 o'clock in the p.m. Okotoks at Lomond at 2.30 and at 4 o'clock. Strathmore hosts Cochrane. Then on Sunday, we have another full day, 1 p.m. Pinocchio at Sylvan Lake, Airdrie at Rocky at 2.30. 4 o'clock is Stetler at Mountain View at 5.30. Three Hills at Red Deer. That is your schedule for the weekend. Thanks for tuning in. Airdrie win this one in overtime. Shmelia.